Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I want to share with you how I've managed to reduce my body fat percentage even more, even though it was already super, super low, within around the last month or so. So yeah, I had been wanting to reduce my body fat percentage even more, so I could have more visible, well-defined abs, and so it could also make my muscles look a lot bigger. So at the time of this journey, I was fluctuating anywhere from 68 kilos in weight to 70 kilos in weight. But then what I have found is, since I've got into the calorie restriction with eating one meal a day, which I talked about in another video, which I put a link for up above, where I went from eating around three to 4,000 calories to eating around only 1,500 calories. And as I said in the video, it's because I felt the natural desire to do so, I experimented with it and it's been working for me. And yeah, what I have found is my weight is now staying around 66.8 kilos. And I did mention in a video about a couple of weeks ago or so that I had got ill and my body weight had reduced. But I think a lot of it, I thought, well, I thought, as I mentioned in the video recently, after I got sick, that I thought I had lost some muscle mass. But what I think it was, I'd actually lost a lot of water weight due to not eating hardly any food and doing quite a bit of longer fasting whilst being sick because for me to actually lose muscle mass in around a week and a half period from being ill doesn't really seem plausible and I thought that at the time but yeah I'm human sometimes I make mistakes so it's all good so yeah the reason why I know that I have reduced body fat percentage is not due to my weight being 66.8 kilos but I have noticed that first off my strength has increased massively and I find that I'm able to do my workouts with even more harder exercises. The third thing is when I keep looking at myself in a mirror with good lighting because this is really bad lighting so it doesn't make my body look good at all it washes out to the definition and my muscles completely so you cannot see them very very well is that when I look at them in the way that I just mentioned with good lighting in a mirror, my muscles look so much more defined and they look so much more fuller and bigger. And I even had a friend that was doing a video call me yesterday looking at my body and saying, wow man, you look even more ripped than you normally do. So I'm going by my own observation. And yeah, I was concerned when doing this calorie restriction that it would reduce my body fat percentage, but also reduce my muscle mass, but it doesn't seem to be happening due to the reasons that I've mentioned. But also, the other factor is, around the same time of doing the calorie restriction, actually about a week or two before of even doing that, that I have actually been throwing loads of cardio in. I was doing no cardio whatsoever. I was training four times a week with calisthenics, anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour with really intense calisthenics that just pushes me to my limit and really makes my muscles fatigued as much as possible. It tears the muscle fibers as much as possible and they ache for days afterwards. And yeah, that actually maximizes my muscle growth. And yeah, this is not the type of training I used to do in the past. And this actually slowed down my progress of transforming my body within one year with calisthenics. And I talk about that in another video in case you're interested in that, where yeah, I share with you the number one reason why I didn't manage to optimize my muscle growth within one year with calisthenics. So maybe you can learn something from that video because there's a lot of people that are trying to change their body and develop as much muscle as possible with calisthenics. But yeah, a lot of people doing the same mistake I did. And yeah, if you're someone that wants to get the quickest results possible with changing your body and developing your muscle as much as possible, I highly recommend you go and watch that video so you don't make the same mistake that I did. So alongside the calisthenics, I'm normally doing cardio three times a week. So I'm pretty much training almost every single day. If there's a time when it gets to a specific day and I feel my energy levels are a bit lower and I feel that I have been pushing my body a little bit too much with training, then I will take a day off and let myself rest. And then I'm absolutely fine the next day. So I'm very mindful and listening to my body and I don't push it too much to the point where it breaks down my immune system and messes up my adrenal glands and just ends up giving me adrenal fatigue, which I've had a lot of issues with adrenal fatigue in the past with pushing myself too much with types of training that I used to do in the past a long time ago and just overworking and undersleeping and stuff like that. 
So yeah, it's about having a fine line and knowing when to push yourself and not. And a lot of people, especially in the Western civilization, just don't know when to stop. So that's just something for you to be aware of as well. So yeah, what I've been doing is getting on a treadmill, doing the steepest incline possible, which is 15 on the ones that I use. And then I start off with 2.5 kilometer speed. So it's just like fast walking. And I do that for 0.50 kilometers. Then I ramp it up to three kilometers, the speed. And then I do that for another 50, well, 0.50 kilometers. And then the next 0.50 kilometers, I crank it up to 3.5 and sometimes to four and do another 0.5. And what I say is I train in a gym that has no air conditioning and it's very hot in Thailand. So it makes me drip with sweat like crazy. So I'm burning a lot of additional calories. So alongside calorie restriction and then being busy in my everyday life like I always am, making videos for two different channels, running many different businesses and just being very proactive in my life and doing those things that I love to do. And then doing the calisthenic training with the cardio on a regular basis, I am using a lot more calories than I'm actually eating and I feel absolutely amazing because I'm doing one meal a day and when you're in an intermittent fasted state where I fast around 23 hours a day on water human growth hormone levels go up by about 2,000 percent in my body because that's what it does for men around 1,300 percent in females testosterone levels go up by 200 to 400 percent and yeah it also just gives you loads of other hormonal benefits and cognitive function benefits as well and i find that it just optimizes my energy levels and i find with one meal a day and doing calorie restriction that my hunger doesn't get out of control but when i try to eat multiple meals and doing calorie restriction it does not work for me what so ever so i'm glad that it is working for me and i will continue to do what i am doing and there's some people that say my body fat percentage is too low but i'm not concerned whatsoever because my testosterone levels are through the roof and I even went to hospital recently and got a DEXA body scan done which is the gold standard for testing your body fat percentage and your bone density and I will upload that video soon so you can see that and the doctor I worked with was just amazed by my results and said if she was actually to test my levels my testosterone levels would be through the roof and I know that they are anyway without her having to even test them but yeah you need to be careful with going too low with your body fat percentage but i believe when you're doing the type of things that i'm doing you can't go too low where it's going to start to mess up your hormonal production because when it does go very very low testosterone levels start to drop has negative effects on other hormones in the body and a whole host of other negative effects as well it's okay to go really super super low and super shredded and ripped for a period of time if you're going to do photo shoots or videos like some athletes are out there or if you're going to compete in a competition but yeah it's not something you want to try and sustain all year round like i managed to with my low fat body percentage because you're going to run into a lot of issues and yeah as you can see look there is like no fat on me that is pretty much skin like and here you can grab almost nothing or on my arms no hardly anything there whatsoever or even here like pretty much wafer thin and a lot of people say it's really hard to get a low body fat percentage but i find with what i'm doing and combining them all together it makes it really really easy for me to sustain a low body fat percentage without the use of drugs a lot of people use diuretics or things like clenbuterol and other unnatural synthetic things that strip your body fat percentage that have really bad short term and long term effects so yeah it's not saying that i want to go down the route of because i want to have the most holistic health in mind and body possible and maximize my longevity and vitality and my hormone production and a neurotransmitter production my mental health my cognitive function all these other things so i just feel the best within myself and within my life every single day so yeah that is it for this video and what I will say is I will have some new videos coming soon showing what I do and eating a day in case you're interested in that so you can see the difference with the type of food well the amount of food that I'm even eating but if you're someone that wants to see how many calories I was eating before in one sitting I don't necessarily work it all out but you can see me loads and loads of food I put a link for a playlist up above that has a whole playlist of videos showing you me eating around three to four thousand calories on my restaurant diet where I only eat plant-based vegan food 
in restaurants <laughs> and it's really fun to watch them enjoyable and you can learn a lot to talk about many different things in them as well so yeah that's it for this video if you have any questions leave them down below i'll get back to you as soon as possible if you like the video like it down below give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think needs to hear about what i shared with you today in relation to my own story with reducing my body fat percentage even further and how i did that and don't forget to subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis and the type of videos you can expect to get from me are one meal a day and intermittent fasting informational videos what to eat and what to do in a day videos calisthenics workout and progression videos and calisthenics informational videos and all different types of videos to teach you of so many different important things that you need to know to go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body desire the fitness levels and the energy levels whilst also sustaining the highest state of health holistically as well and before i end i'm going to show you where i am actually at so yeah it's going to be quite bright there and it's going to wash me out but yeah next to the tropical tropical beach so to speak i lost my words there then but yeah i'm gonna go and chill out on the beach shortly and this is where i live currently at the moment on a tropical island in thailand so yeah, the camera's a bit wonky now but yeah and make sure if you do want to be notified of when the new videos are uploaded that you click that subscribe button and you click that bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise youtube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and i have new ones coming almost every single day so as always stay fit stay energetic and go and get those gains peace